The Bowflex Revolution features the ingenious patented Spiroflex technology. The Revolution's muscle building resistance comes in the form of these cleverly designed plates, each constructed with a heavy duty elastic strap inside the plate. When you perform an exercise, the Spiroflex plates rotate around the center, stretching the elastic strap and creating resistance. Now these plates combined with the mechanism inside the machine create constant resistance throughout the entire range of motion. That gives you a more consistent gym quality experience, which means your muscles get a better workout and faster results. These plates look very much like free weight plates and are assigned a pound rating based on their resistance, including 5, 10, 20, and 40 pound plates. But here's the great thing about the Spiroflex plates. This disc creates the same resistance as a five pound weight. And this disc creates the same resistance as a 40 pound weight. But check it out. In reality, they actually weigh almost the same, just a few pounds. That's the beauty of Spiroflex technology. The real power of the workout is in the resistance, not the weight. And that means you can quickly and easily stack these lightweight plates onto the Revolution, just like free weights, and get a great workout. With a standard Revolution package, you get up to 220 pounds of resistance for any exercise. Plus, there's an 80 pound upgrade that lets you top out at 300 pounds of resistance. Think about it. You can get up to 300 pounds of resistance, but the real, actual weight of the Spiroflex plates is just a fraction of that. And even more amazing is the design of the leg press that turns 300 pounds into 600 pounds. And one other cool thing about this technology, astronauts in the International Space Station use it to stay in shape. Why? In space, there's zero gravity. So free weights or similar devices weigh nothing, which would make them virtually useless. So to prevent muscle atrophy, astronauts work out on machines using a resistance technology similar to that in the Bowflex Revolution. Now let's take a look at just a few critical factors in the use of your Spiroflex plates. First of all, become familiar with them and realize there's a number labeled on both sides. This one is a number five. But only on the outside of the plate is there also an arrow, an indicator pointing counterclockwise. You'll also notice the outside of the plate is indicated with the Bowflex logo on the plate itself. So it is that arrow that indicates the outside of the plate, and that's the way it will need to slide on the machine every time in order to engage. In order to slide on the machine, take a look at the rod and the hexagonal hole in the center of the plate. This six-sided hole has one side with a slight arch to it. It's a little bit different than the other, the other five. The rod is the same way. So you'll need to align those similar parts of the hole in the rod so it fits together kind of like a key in a lock. Then you can easily slide the plate on all the way. Now, here's the key to actually engaging the resistance. Each plate has a six point locking mechanism on both sides. So in order to engage this plate and make it work for you, turn the plate counterclockwise the way the arrow indicates. And as you turn it, push it all the way on the top of the plate, the bottom of the plate, the sides of the plate, make sure they're all the way on and then allow it to rotate back clockwise. Now check to make sure that the locking mechanism was secured top, bottom, and sides. And right there, the, that five pound plate is engaged and it's gonna offer you an additional five pounds of resistance when you pull in the rope and the handle. To disengage the plate and take it off, you'll need to again turn counterclockwise and try to pull outward. Now, as you turn counterclockwise, it does create a little tension within the Spiroflex technology and that's gonna create a little friction on the rod. So when you turn it to get it off, just take your time and pull slowly. And once the locking mechanism is far enough away from the previous plate, you can easily slide the plate off. Now remember, take a look at the number because you can add any combination of plates to get the resistance you want. Make sure you do the same thing on each side if you want a symmetrical resistance.